Hi, I'm here with Dr. Mike Slavitt, and I want to challenge him a little bit, put him on the spot. Uh, from our conversation, you'll know there's lots of information on his website, mikeslavitt.com. Check it out. So, Dr. Slavitt, we hear a lot about date rape. Some guys have contended that some of the women who claim to be victims are partly responsible for what happened to them. The guys argue that if a woman dresses provocatively or drinks too much, she's partly at fault. What's your perspective on this? Well, uh, let me address this with an analogy. Suppose I buy my father a birthday gift. Suppose I wrap it and leave it on the front seat of my car. And then I go into a supermarket, leaving my car door unlocked. When I return, the gift has been stolen. You could certainly say that I was unwise. You could certainly say that I made myself a more likely victim of theft by not locking my car door. But the person who took the gift is nonetheless a thief. A thief is more than an inconsiderate person. A thief is a criminal. The analog. Suppose a woman goes to a party on a first date. Suppose she becomes intoxicated. She's unable to exert control over what happens to her, and she is forced into sex. You could certainly say that she was unwise. You could certainly say that she made herself a more likely victim of the sexual assault. But the person who took advantage of her is nonetheless a rapist. A rapist is more than an inconsiderate person. A rapist is a criminal. Wow. You've certainly put it strongly and succinctly. Do you have perspectives on other matters that might interest viewers? Well, the one that we just talked about is one of 15 Ask a Psychologist columns that I have on my website, mikeslavitt.com. Is there more that viewers will find of interest on your website? I certainly hope so. Uh, I have some articles on science. I have some articles on achieving personal happiness. Uh, and... I have uh, some books. If you were to click on my publications, there is a book called Your Life, an Owner's Guide, which has perspectives on values, goals, dreams, exercise, money, and relationships. I have a book called Lessons from Desiderata, in which I show ways to take the stirring words of the poet Max Herman and put them in in your day-to-day -day life, and I have a book called Train Your Wandering Mind for those of us who can have periods of distractibility or for people who actually have attention deficit disorder. This book elucidates 20 methods to train yourself in more effective disregard. And where can people find this information? They can find this all on the website, mikeslavitt.com.